Hi everybody, Don the Mushroom Hunter here and I just found my first wild edible mushroom of the spring season here in Portage County and it's this lovely little gyrometra corfi. So this was growing under a very mature apple tree here with lots of uh, lots of dead logs and dead trees around. Uh, so gyrometra is an entire genus of mushrooms <clears throat> that contain uh, both toxic and edible species. Uh, this gyrometra corfi generally it doesn't get too large. It has a, a sort of a light orangish brownish tan cap that is uh, all folded up as you can see. So uh, this is very often or mistakenly called a false morel, um, which applies to many different species of mushrooms. Uh, I don't necessarily like that term because this looks nothing like a morel, uh, first off. Um, morels have deep pits or grooves in the cap. Uh, gyrometra and other mushrooms that are um, referred to as false morels don't have pits or grooves. They're, the caps are always folded up like this. Um, there, there are a few uh, toxic species of, of gyrometra, um, most notably gyrometra esculenta. Um, those look very different though. They have reddish to purplish cap. They have a, a tall, very thin stem. You can see that this has a very short stem. It almost sort of looks like it's growing straight out of the ground. The stem is completely covered with dirt here. Um, these are good edible mushrooms. I would say the edibility is similar to morels and the flavor is similar as well. They are very um, uh, delicate, also like morels, so they fall apart pretty easily. The main problem with eating these is getting them clean uh, without breaking them completely into tiny pieces. So that's the one thing that often keeps me from harvesting these. So a lot of times what I'll do is just kind of take the cap and leave the rest behind um, because the entire stem is going to be filled with dirt and grit. Um, these are, uh, they have the same edibility as morels. Uh, both are toxic raw, so you do not want to eat these or morels or actually most wild mushrooms raw, but the cooking uh, of the mushroom completely mitigates any and all of the toxins that are present. Um, so anyway, these things come out generally um, before morel season, so it's, it's still a little too early here in Portage County. I mean, I've seen some reports of a few morels here and there, but my spots have, uh, there's, there's really nothing going on. So I always like to see a couple of these uh, while I'm uh, early morel hunting and I could throw, throw these in my basket and take these home to eat. There are a couple of other edible species as well that look uh, similar but different. Um, Gyrometra brunea and uh, Caroliniana are, are two other species that we often find here in Ohio. Um, both of which tend to get a little larger, at least in my experience. Caroliniana especially can get huge. Um, and uh, again, are also great edibles. Uh, I would suggest if you are on Facebook, uh, find the group False Morels Demystified. And uh, the, uh, the main thing with these Gyrometra and Verpa, which is the other uh, genus of, of uh, morels that are sometimes called False Morels, is that the edibility information in lots of field guides and websites is completely out of date. They were based on the one species, Gyrometra esculenta, that are toxic even after cooking. You have to properly sort of parboil them several times before eating. You have to do a lot of prep to, uh, to mitigate the toxins. And so a lot of the um, 
the literature on these is based on the fact that they thought that all of these species contain the same amount of toxins, and that's just not true. So, uh, so anyway, that, that group has a lot of information, a lot of papers and studies that show that um, these are completely safe to eat once cooked. Um, so anyway, if you happen to come across these during morel season or before morel season, take a couple, take them home, get them nice and clean, cook them up just like you would morels, and uh, you probably will not be disappointed. So I'm gonna keep looking around here, maybe find some uh, others, maybe some bigger ones, but in the meantime, happy hunting.